Matt, you've got a really interesting boutique high street estate agency in the Yorkshire Dales. You have a menu of fees, you have split fees, you have upgrade fees. Tell me a bit more about that, because that is completely against what everyone else is doing. It is. Um, the reason that we offer the, the fee offerings is very simple. Is we, we want to give people choice. Okay. Um, and again, going back to my corporate days when it was just no sound, no fee. Because you've worked for some pretty big boys. I've been on your LinkedIn profile and, you know, you've been there and done it, mate. Yeah, I've been, I've been around. Yeah. Uh, can, can I name the companies? That yeah, you for? go for it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I started off at a very small independent agency, uh, which was uh, back in Stevenage, Hertfordshire, okay. Mayfair Marshall. That's where I learned my trade. Um, According to, according to the boss, yeah, still going, yeah. According yeah. to the boss, Peter Anstey uh, was very good at what I did, um, but saw a career rather than a job. And when I got into agency, it was because I needed a job. Mm -hmm. I, I was a, a semi-sponsored bike racer, working in, in a bike shop, fixing and building bikes and racing bikes at the weekend. But that was never going to secure me a mortgage. That was never going to buy me a house. So I had to get a job. Yep. And Peter, who was the owner and boss at Mather Marshall, used to come into the bike shop and I used to service his bikes for him. And I said to him, Peter, look, I need a job. Um, I noticed in the newspaper that you're looking for a junior negotiator. Would, would you take a punt on me? And he said, well, junior suggests that we're looking for a junior, not someone of your age. So How I was old actually, time? Well, I'm 49 now and I've been in the industry 20 years. All right. So, so I was quite old yeah. as, as a junior. But he, he took a punt on me. And my, my first day was a, a massive learning curve. Um, we, we had no computers in the office. But from there, I just worked my way through. I think I left Mason Marshall and worked for Connells uh, okay. as a valuer, then got my own branch. Then I was um, headhunted and I went to work for Spicer Heart. And I was part of the re regional management team. Yes. After 36 offices. Because I looked at your LinkedIn profile, you're pretty red hot at new business generation. Yeah. It was, okay. it was something that was clearly inside me, as well okay. as being what I like to think, uh, okay. a good estate agent. I was always very, um, I think, you know, entrepreneurial, dynamic. Okay. I could see opportunities within the industry. Okay, so you, you were a good estate agent, so you'd have been pretty good at working for them boys and getting high fees. So yeah. let's bring it back to fees. <laughs> Why do you do a menu of fees? And if you don't mind me saying, I still think they are a little inexpensive. So yeah, they are. On. Yeah, I charge what I need to charge. It's, it's as simple as that. And going back to what I was saying, that some of the, the larger agents have to charge more just to cover the costs, not necessarily to enjoy big fat profits. But I charge on average, I think my fee average so far this year is around £1,200. How can you run a business on £1,200 when you've actually got an office itself? It's not as if you're running it from a, a shed or your bedroom no. or, a, or a hybrid. No, we, we have, uh, well, in fact, we've got two offices. We, we've recently done some shifting around of the offices as well. We've moved uh, back into Beedown, where Harvard Estate started at 37 Marketplace. Um, and we've, we've basically, we've got good rent. It's as simple as that. We pay four grand a year. Wow. And we're on the high street. Um, we've got... Uh, plenty a, of agents that pay that a month. Yeah, and absolutely. Rates, and rates on top. A absolutely. So I suppose one thing, uh, although not Yorkshire born and bred, I, I am Yorkshire to a degree, but I don't waste money. And when I set Harwell Estates up back in 2013, I looked at every area of the business and I looked at where money was being spent in other agencies. So what does it cost you to run your office a, day, a month? On average? Yeah, about three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah. How the hell do you do that though? So you've got 20% market share. You're running up listings of around 50 or 60. How the hell can you run a business on that? It's really simple. Um, I've got part-time staff. Yep. On average, a thousand. Uh, right move on average a thousand. Yeah. Um, premises costs two offices, one's three, three, three a month, the other one's two twenty a month, so five, five mm -hmm. fifty. Um, marketing, a few little bits and bobs. Um, I don't spend money in newspapers, I don't waste money. Don't you want to charge more? No, I don't need to. I mean, if you don't mind me saying, have you heard of the phrase gentleman farmer? I've heard of it. Yeah, basically it's someone who basically has a farm but does, doesn't do much work in it and, and basically lets his people do yeah. it. Um, are you a gentleman estate agent? Um, possibly. Possibly, okay. but without giving it too much thought. Okay. Um, th this, is, this is one thing that baffles people, Chris, is that I... Because you, you, if you don't mind me saying, you've got decent market share 
and you only work two, two, two and a half days a week? Or do you work two, two and a half days a week? Are you scribbling away till 10 at night? No, or? not at all. No, not at all. I, I work. Is this a lifestyle choice? Yeah. Yeah. I, I set up Harwell Estates to, to do two things. One, and first and foremost, is I wanted to get back to doing estate agency how I used to enjoy it. Okay. Which was long before the corporate world corrupted me. So I wanted to get back to knowing the reasons why people wanted to move. Why were Mr. and Mrs. Brown selling a particular property? What was important to them? Where did they want to move to? And when did they Is that the bit you really enjoy about yeah. estate agency? Yeah. Yeah. The day of completion. And it's not because of the fee. Because chances are I've already been paid. Okay. So it's about seeing that particular client put the last item of furniture into the removal van and head off to their, their new home, knowing that I've been an integral part of that movement in, in their life. That's what I used to enjoy. So you're helping what someone move from one chapter of their life to another. Absolutely. And you're the man that can makes it happen. Yeah. Is that what turns you on? Not, yeah, not yeah. screwing them for yeah. fees? I'm, I'm not motivated by money. And from, from an estate agent, you, you did hear that, Chris. I'm an estate agent, I'm, an, I'm a businessman, I'm an entrepreneur, but I am not motivated by money. When I set Harwell Estates up, I wanted to do agency how I wanted to do it, and I wanted to create a lifestyle that allows me to take my son to school in the morning, and if I want, pick him up in the afternoon. But this, how do you square the circle that you want to grow a big agency and have a big house and a big mortgage and a big car and go on the big fancy holidays? Surely that's what you want. No, I don't have a mortgage. I'm mortgage free. Okay. I'm in a very fortunate position. Um, then you must have inherited a load of money to be able to do this. I did inherit some money, but we invested that straight into our house. Okay. The other thing to bear in mind, Chris, is that my wife and I moved from North London a few years ago. So we've taken advantage of a right. big north-south divide. Um, you know, we, we've come from a one-bed flat that is probably worth more than the house that we live in at the moment. Yet the house that we live in at the moment is a three-story three, -store, three -story Victorian house mm -hmm. in, in a village on the edge of the North Yorkshire Moors. And how do you feel about yourself as a person now, being an agent with the way you operate? It's, it's enlightening because I'm doing agency for completely different reasons. Are you happy? Yeah. Why are you happy? Because I've got the life that I want to live. I've got the business that I've always wanted. I've got the estate agency brand offering the service that I've always wanted. And I, and I don't stress about having to walk away from an instruction with a 2% fee. And that's a good place to be. Just talk to me about what fees you do charge yeah. and how you, how you split them. Because that was the, if you don't mind me saying, um, that was how we started the question, but you, you took me in a, in a you, you kind of screwed my head nicely. And we went in a different direction. I need to bring it back for the guys. Come on, what, what, what is this menu of fees? Cool. It's really simple. We give people choice. So when I first set the business up um, back in 2013, we, we immediately knew that people would be very sceptical about paying up front. Bear in mind that I was offering upfront fees long before Purple Books came on board. Yes. So I did 499 up front. The reason that I did 499 up front is that I knew people in Yorkshire would be attractive. Okay. By a cheap fee. You know, they would they would look at that and think, you know, we're Yorkshire, we like to save money. But also Do you know why Yorkshire people have got big ears and no hair? How much? Much? How much? <laughs> <laughs> Apologies to my Yorkshire. It, it doesn't surprise me. But I mean there's two reasons why I set the business uh, sailing with an upfront fee is we didn't go off to the bank and borrow a load of money to set the business up. Because it can be expensive, can't it? Yeah, yeah. We we had a limited amount of money in the bank and I had to go from zero to organic sustainability and life support before that money ran out. So, so was it all upfront fees? or was there No, no. I basically had an upfront fee of 499. We did a sales commission of 1% and we had a split fee as well. Split fee, what does that look like? So basically they could pay um, £399 upfront and then it was half a percent sales commission. But we've made some changes to the fees. Okay, so what are they now then? It's really simple. So the split fee is £699 payable upfront. We then have a success fee, which is £500, £750 or £1,000. And that's based on the value of the property. So you've got skin in the game? Yes. Um, and then do you have just a pure upfront fee if they wanted? Not anymore. Not anymore? No. And what, is it, what, what are these upgrades that you offer them? Okay, it's what we call lifestyle. 
Uh, and if you've been on the Facebook page, you'll see the shop. So you can go to the shop and you can choose your agency fee. So most people, as an example, if someone's got a house that's worth 250,000, the agency fee is 699 plus 500 pound once the sale completes. They can then upgrade to what we call lifestyle marketing, which is a series of marketing upgrades, which includes things like professional photography, right move premium listing, aerial or drone photography, and you can take it right through to an extra £699, which will give you entry into your country life, North Yorkshire Living Magazine. Um, do you find that most people upgrade after you've been out, or are you getting people almost upgrading before you even come out? Straight away. Upgrading. And do, have you ever had on a time where you've actually, people have upgraded even before you've walked through the door? Yeah, we, I mean, people do the research. And if you go to the Facebook page, there is a lot of content there. Yeah. Um, you know, you can, you can go to the shop. Mm -hmm. So I like to think that if I've been called out to evaluation, chances are it's because of either board presence or it's recommendation, word of mouth, or because we are so active on social media that they have already been to the Facebook page and they've already visited mm -hmm. the shop, the online shop, and decided, well, if we sell through Harwell Estates, we can pay 699 We know that because the fees are on public yeah. display. So we get called out and people know what they're going to get and they know what they're going to charge, what we're going to charge. Excellent. Thank you. No problem.